for those of you that need them, there are more hydrocarbon derivatives other than the, the, the real popular ones, which are alcohols, carboxylic acids, um, and esters as well. Very popular uh, to be able to, to uh, uh, do some nomenclature with, right? Well, you also have to know some ketones and aldehydes when you get a little bit more advanced into the chemistry. So what are they? Well, they have a group in them where a C is double bonded to an O. It's called a carbonyl group. Carboxyl group, carboxylic acid, carboxyl, that's a COOH. It's got a C double bond O, but it's got an OH. That's carboxyl. Carbonyl is when you have a C double bond O. Now, you can have those in two different places, and they give completely different chemical properties. Well, not completely different, they're quite different. And we call C double bonded O chemicals that have more junk on that carbon in either direction, we call those ketones. What we call the C double bond O always found at the end of the molecule, we call that an aldehyde. So ketones and aldehydes have the C double bond O group, and this is how they're named. So if you look at this one right here, you go, okay, longest continuous chain. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a pent, and it would be a pentane, but we drop the, we drop the, uh, uh, the E here, and we add uh, own because it's a ketone. So it go, it's get, gets called pentanone. Now, where is the own? The own is at the second carbon. So, okay, we're getting rid of that own, and we're going to go pentan two own. So the own is at the two. And by the way, in this one, I just happened to put methyls here on this one. You're going to say, well, there's two methyls there and there's two branches. That could be the second one, so that could be the fourth one here. Uh-uh. We take precedence here as, we, as, we, as we've been building in terms of organic chemistry from do single double bonds to triple bonds to halogens uh, attached to alcohols and, and carboxylic acid groups. We're getting increased complexity here. And so precedence is taken by each of these that we're doing after the others. And so these methyls right here, of which there are two, are going to be on the one, two, three, fourth carbon. So that's going to be a four comma four hyphen dimethyl pentan two on, right? Okay. So those are ketones. And then there are chemicals called aldehydes. And so um, and there are popular uh, molecules of each of these, right? Uh, a three carbon uh, a ketone uh, that we know of it, it is called, uh, well, that would be called propanone if it's got three carbons in it. And you don't have to call it two propanone because it's only an own a ketone if it's in the middle. If this is a carbon here and a carbon here, that would be called propanone. That's good enough. That's also actually called acetone, which is a really good solvent. And then there's aldehydes, and, and one of the most popular aldehydes is if you just took that and put an H right there, and that would actually, it used to have the classical name form aldehyde, because form kind of meant one. And form aldehyde was something that we stored uh, uh, um, uh, tissues in because it was a, a real good preservative because nothing could live in formaldehyde, so you could actually keep uh, uh, tissue samples like, like, like like brains and hearts and stuff like that, in jars of formaldehyde, and they'd keep forever because uh, that formaldehyde was so poisonous. Well, it wasn't just poisonous, it's cancerous too, so nobody uses formaldehyde anymore. Um, but here's the thing. How do they end? These aldehydes end in al. Ketones end in own, but aldehydes end in al. So if you had this molecule right here, where you've got a double bond OH, and, it appear, and, and you've got the C double bond OH, uh, H, C-H-O, Cho, Cho ending right there, that is going to be an aldehyde, and this is going to be a propan. Drop the E for propane and add just al, propanal. Now, here's the nice thing. You don't have to say where the al is. The al is always at the one because it's at the end. So whatever end it's, it's at, that takes precedence in the, in the naming of anything, and so that's going to be at the one. So if you just stuck chloron here, that wins, and then, so that's going to be a three chloropropanal, you don't have to say where the al is. So that's cool.